Hey, it's the Brainy Bee. I'm under my beautiful tree in the park on a beautiful day. And I'm so thankful to, to be alive, to be inspired, to have creativity, uh, to be able to touch other people with my words. It means so much to me. And I'm just thankful to be here in this moment because I have been in a lot of dark places and that can really pull down my spirit. And I've been working really hard on self-care and being kind to myself because the nicer I am to myself, the more polite I am to other people and then they treat me better. And I was living in a space of anger and resentment for a long time. And it's really important to think about where you're coming from when you have these feelings, like what's causing my stress? What happened prior to me feeling the stress? I'm trying to eliminate anything negative that would cause an upset in my spiritual well-being. I want so badly to grow as a human being and to love other people with my full heart. I don't want to be thinking of my selfish needs, but I also do want to practice good self-care, which is a different type of selfishness. And I think that it's important to make lists of things that work, good things that make a person happy to have, to rely on when stress comes. So for me, I love bass. I love walks. I love making these videos. I love spending time with my cats. I love cleaning the house. I love making my bed. I love doing the laundry because it means that I have lots of clothes to wear. And I'm just thankful to have another day on this planet and I'm going to make the most of it because I don't know if I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I am not tempting fate because I know that life can change in instant and being grateful for everything that you're offered in the moment will make the next moment better and the next moment better because it's all about being present. So being able to have a moment in your life where you know that you're completely available emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and that is being present. That is being mindful and mindfulness will make you a very happy person because it takes away all the stress of what if and also the pain of the past. So giving yourself time and space to heal, making a list of the good things in your life that you enjoy will make you a much more peaceful, centered person. I hope that this is inspiring to you and that you know that you are not alone. Life is very hard and we all struggle and you never know what's going on with another person. So if they treat you in a way that you don't like, just know that they're probably going through something really upsetting and it's good to just give forgiveness especially for yourself for me forgiving myself is one of the most difficult things that I find to do and I just want to be able to say it's okay Julianne you did your best and now you're gonna try again and keep going and you're gonna learn and you're gonna grow and that's all I want to do is make positive changes. Well, I hope that you have a very beautiful day and that you take good care of your mental health. Know that you're not alone and that you have a bright future ahead of you if you find a way to be present in the moment and to take good care of yourself through self-care and self-kindness. All right, well, peace.